wild card spots. All right, the game you just enjoyed, winner take all, higher seed on the road. That was the same place the Sky found themselves last night. Sun entered the day one and eight in all all time and winner take all games. Arike, Agumba Wale, available for this one. Marina Mabry put up a dozen on five of seven from the field, averaging just over 12 for the series. So got to that spot in the first half. Letitia Heideman, Jacquel Jones, offensive foul. Jones would have to sit. That's big. Joanna Bonner, Tierra McCallan. This reminder: Do not bring the Kool-Aid to a gin party. Game tied at 34 at the half. Third quarter, Sun up two. Heideman. All three of these, Sun up, and the lead begins to grow. Melissa Thomas, Euro Stefan. The Sun beginning to assert themselves. Ogumbawale checks in for the wings for the first time in the game. A little step back. Doesn't go. Trying to play through injury. Trying to provide the spark that she certainly can, but just could not find the mark. Minute to go in the quarter. Dewana Bonner. What a look. Brianna Jones, bucket plus one, and the lead's now 11. And then as the quarter comes to an end, give me that. Jonquil Jones, transition. It's big. Transition points, points off turnovers, all those things. Advantage Sun, and they move on to face the sky. Let's do our research on the final four that are now set. Sun and Sky score out for the playoffs for the third straight year. Sun won a single elimination game in the first round of the 2020 playoffs. Different format then. Chicago won in the semis last year en route to winning the championship. This is significant. I'm going to ask Andrea about this in a minute. Sky 4-0 against the Sun in the regular season. Sky last found themselves in this spot in 2015. They faced the fever after going 4-0 against them in the regular season. Chicago actually went on to lose that series. Other semifinal series. Star power on display. Aces and the Storm. Sue Bird, Jackie Young. There'll be seven different number one picks playing in this series, which is the most ever in WNBA postseason history. And I'm pleased to be able to say hello for the first time to Andrea Carter here. Welcome to the show. And Andrea, I was prepared to ask you about this format because it's interesting, right? You know, the lower seeds got to go on the road, and if they lose a, a one of the first two home games, but for the second night in a row, the higher seed really stretches it out and flexes muscles in the second half, particularly in the fourth quarter. So ultimately for the Sun, the difference in this one was what? Well, the difference in this game was the Sun got back to exactly who they are and what they have thrived off of all season long and also the performance of Dewana Bonner. I have to start with Dewana Bonner first because she's the only player for the Connecticut Sun that's won a championship. She won two, one in 2009, one in 2014. She had 21 points, just a dominant performance. And it wasn't even like she made plays that were soft. She made emphatic plays with a ton of energy to hype her team up and get them going. She put the team on her back. When she played in Phoenix, it was Diana Taurasi who put the team on her back countless times. And Dewana Bonner stepped up and did that for her squad tonight. My co-analyst co Carolyn Peck calls her Big Shot Bonner because she's able to make huge shots. And Connecticut also got back to scoring points off of turnovers. They had 20 points off of turnovers. They had 20 second chance points. That is exactly what Connecticut is known for. They got back to who they are. They got back to themselves. And that's how they thrive. Because Connecticut in the half court offense isn't the most dominant offensive team. But when they can run and create turnovers, Kurt Miller says it's finding ways to create chaos, finding ways to be disruptive. They did that tonight. Dallas lost Isabel Harrison. Arike Gumbawale wasn't healthy. Dallas just didn't have the poise and composure down the stretch to compete with Connecticut. I'm always really hesitant to apply regular season results and give them meaning in the postseason because it's a completely different deal. We see that all the time in the NBA, and it might have been a different deal with rest. Could have been injuries. Maybe everyone doesn't play, whatever the case. But for nothing is a pretty significant margin in the sky and joy over the sun. So does that matter, do you think, in this series? 
Uh, I think it matters, and it's something that Connecticut is going to have in the back of their minds, but Connecticut's gotten better and better as the season has gone on. They struggled with injuries when they lost their point guard in Jasmine Thomas. They lost her early in the season, and they had to make an adjustment because she was the do-all player for that Connecticut Sun team, and I think they've gotten better and gotten used to not having her on the floor, but let me tell you, this Chicago Sky team has also been putting the pieces together all season long. Honestly, just carrying over their chance championship run last season. Scott, this is such a balanced Chicago Sky team. They've got the inside presence. They've got the outside presence. The veteran leadership of Candace Parker and Courtney Vandersloot. And they've got huge production coming off of the bench. Rebecca Gardner and Azure Stevens come off the bench. They can score. They can defend. They've got length. So Connecticut, put that regular season record behind you. This is a new season. This is a new series. They've got to compete with the Sky. It's going to be tough. Semifinal starts Sunday. You got star power and you got chalk. One, two, three, four. Those seeds onto the semis. Andrea, thank you so much for taking the time. You're fantastic at this. We hope we can do it again soon. Thanks, Scott. You got it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.